The Sky Ranch is a supplier of aircraft parts, including included in stock are five altimeters that are correctly calibrated and two that are not. Three altimeters are randomly selected without replacement, and we'll let X uh, be the random variable that represents the number that are not correctly calibrated. So first of all, what I like to do in this type of problem is rename things because correctly calibrated uh, is tough to keep track of. So let me let me call this um, if they are correctly calibrated, let me call them good. <clears throat> and two that are not, I'm going to call them bad. So we can just deal with good and bad. <clears throat> so that means the uh, X is going to represent the number that are not correctly calibrated. So instead we'll say X is going to represent the number that are bad. So now I need to calculate uh, the probability that I have zero that are bad. In other words, I need to calculate the probability that all three of the altimeters that are chosen are good. So this is going to be the probability that the first one is good uh, times the probability that the second one is good times the probability that the third one is good. <clears throat> now the probability that the first one is good, well consider that there are seven altimeters total and five of them are good, so there's a five-sevenths chance that I would pick a good altimeter. Now the second one, the probability that it's good, consider that there's only six left because we chose one already, and there's only four good ones left because I chose a good one on the first one. And then same thing for the third one, the probability that the third is good, well now there's only five left, and only three of those five are good, so there's a three-fifths chance that the third one will be good. So multiplying all this together gets me approximately 0 0.2857. So my probability that all three are good or that zero are bad is 0 0.2857. Now for the next one, it's a little trickier. We need to calculate the probability, so this is for the probability that one is bad Try the probability that the first is good, the probability that the second is good, but the probability that the third is bad. I also need, though, the probability that the first is good, the probability that the second is the bad one, and the probability that the third is good. So in both of these cases, only one of them is bad, and that's what I'm calculating. But there's one other option the probability that the first is bad, the second is good, and the probability that the third is good. So let me write these out really quick. Uh, again, the probability that the first one is good is there's five good ones out of seven total. And for the second one, there are six total, and we want a good one here, so there are only four good ones left. But the third one, now again, there's only five left because I've chosen two, but the probability that this third one is bad, there are two bad ones in the lot. So calculating all this out gets me approximately 0 0.1905. The second one uh, is along the same lines. I start out looking for a good one first, which is 5 sevenths probability. The probability that the second one is bad, well, now there's only six left, and two of them are bad, so my two goes up on top of the second fraction now. And the probability that the third one is good, well, there are five left, and since I already chose a good one, there are four good ones left. But notice, if you know about multiplying fractions together, uh, all the tops are the same for this one, and all the bottoms, all the denominators are the same as in the first problem. So multiplying all these together should get me the same probability. Now doing the same thing for number three here, there are two bad ones out of seven possible uh, altimeters. Now there's probability that the second one is good. There are five good ones and six left. And third, there are now four good ones and only five altimeters left. But again, all the numerators are the same, all the denominators are the same. So my probability will come out to be the same. 
So really, what I need to do to calculate the probability of getting one bad one is add all three of these up. And that gets me the probability 0 0.5715. Or notice I could have just calculated the first one and multiplied it times three. So that gets me the probability of one bad one is 0 0.5715. So let me do the same thing for the probability of two bad ones. But this time I'll use that shortcut idea. So I really only have to calculate the probability of two of them being bad. So maybe the first one is good times two bad ones. And I should list out all the possibilities. So the first one could be bad, the second one is good, and the uh, third one is bad, so this would be another way we could get two bad ones. And the other possibility is that the first two are bad, and the third one is good. So again, I only have three possibilities. That means I can calculate the probability for the first one and then multiply it times these three different possibilities. So the probability that the first one is good is five-sevenths again. The probability that the second one is bad is two bad ones out of six left, and then the third one is bad, there's one bad one left, and five possible. So multiplying these probabilities together, I get 0 0.0476 approximately. Now since three of them would have the same probability, I just have to multiply that one probability times three, and I get about 0.1 Four, two, nine. So that would be my probability here. Point one, four, two, nine. Now lastly, the probability that all three are bad, well intuition could tell you, but I'll do it mathematically. If I've only got two bad altimeters in the lot, because I only had two that are bad, and I want to calculate the probability that three are bad, well, it's got to be zero, but let's, let's look at that. So that would be the probability, and this is of course for the last one, probability that the first one is bad, the times the probability that the second one is bad, times the probability that the third one is bad. Well, the probability the first one is bad, there's two bad ones out of seven total. The probability that the second one is bad, there's one bad one out of seven, uh, six left, sorry. And then finally, the probability that the third one is bad, well, there's zero bad ones left out of five total. So that zero is going to make this whole thing zero. So that means the probability that I'd get three bad ones is zero, because there's only two bad ones in the lot. Finally, to calculate the mean, what I have to do is multiply the value for the random variable times the probability in each case and add them up. So that is, I have to calculate zero times the first probability plus one times the second probability, 0.5715, plus two times the third probability, 0 0.142, this should be a nine here, looks like I erased that, nine, plus three times zero, Adding all that up will equal 0.8572, but it says, of course, round to one decimal place, so we'll look at 0.8. The 5 next to it tells us to round up, so this should be 0 0.9.